The purpose of ICG lymphangiography is to let us directly see the lymphatic system in, in anyone's arm or leg. Um, it really has changed, changed surgery because if you can see it, you can operate on it. Where in the past we would make incisions, inject blue dye and try to find the lymphatics here uh, before even going into the operating room we can figure out if the patient would be a good candidate for lymphovenous bypass versus lymph node transplant. Um, so having this, in the, having this in the clinic has been a game changer. Instead of taking the patient to the operating room um, and, then, and then seeing once they're under anesthesia, just have you flip your hand, uh, we can figure out if they'd be a good candidate uh, before going to the operating room. It involves three injections. We use the tiniest needle, um, and uh, the first injection is the lidocaine to numb the area. The second injection is the actual dye, which you won't feel. Overall, how did it, did you have much pain? No, not at all. It's just a little pinch that you feel. Um. You shouldn't feel any of this. This is the actual dye. We, we inject the lidocaine so that this is not painful. Otherwise, this can sting. This is an ICG. Uh, this is a near infrared camera, um, and now we're in spy mode. So this actually, there are a number of different near infrared cameras uh, that will cause the ICG to fluoresce. And if you look on the screen here, you can kind of start seeing the ICG, and there's a nice lymphatic right there. You can immediately see, and this is the unaffected arm the lymphatic system. You can actually turn the lights and you can see these lymphatics go all the way up. And there's the axillary lymph node right there. So, and if you carefully look, you can see these lymphatics move on their own. They pump several times a minute. Oh, wow. Yeah. Lymphatics are everywhere in the body. So, and you can see I'm just doing very gentle massage. So, the faintest of massage really does help clear lymphatic fluid. Here you can see a lot of dermal reflux. So you don't really see any motion of lymphatics. Although we were talking earlier that lymph is getting out of here somewhere. It's just getting out very slowly. But above the level of the elbow, you're really not seeing much. Um, your arm out. It's trickling up here slowly but surely and it's making way through the capillary bed. So we're going to do a final um, final out of photos. Flip your hands up. We really don't know much about lymphatic dysfunction in other organ systems other than the subcutaneous tissue and the extremities. Um, so I think it's a whole, you know, it's a whole frontier for disease. It may unlock uh, some solutions to diseases if we can unlock some solutions to lymphedema.